Hey kids, Grandpa here. So today, I'm working on little route planning, if you will, trying to figure out um, the when and where and why of, uh, of moving out of Sandusky and heading to points east. And of course, my biggest obstacle for myself is budgetary, so I have to work around that. I gave some thought to going over to Bass Island and visiting Putin Bay and maybe doing some other spots, but the reality is I, I just don't have the funds to go ahead and do that because I'm dealing with a really limited budget, and so I have to find more cost-effective options for me. So one of the things I've decided to do is I'm just going to try to head out from here at this marina, which is very affordable. It's a cheap place for me to stay. I have make my way over to um, the canal as fast as possible, the Erie Canal, uh, incurring as least amount of expense as possible. And when I say expense, I mean, you know, places to stay overnight, uh, marinas and such. It looks like right now on Monday and Tuesday, I've got a small window of, uh, of, of good weather. Monday and Tuesday looks really good. So I could conceivably move the boat from here to Cleveland in one day, Cleveland to Ashtabula, Ohio the second day. And then my plan from there would be the next day be in Erie, Pennsylvania, the next day after that be in Dunkirk, New York, <clears throat> and then in Buffalo. Now in Buffalo, uh, right across from the uh, Wardell's Marina, there's a seawall there I can just tie to. Uh, and, and I can get access to facilities and stuff there and not spend any money. There's a marina a little bit further down the road I can pull into just to go to West Marine for a little bit, pick up stuff, and then get back out of there. Um, so that, that's cheap for me to stay there. The problem that I'm running into is that if I need to pull into a marina due to bad weather, between here and Buffalo, it looks like those are running somewhere in the neighborhood of 60 bucks a night. Yep, a night. Right now, the marina I'm staying in is five dollars a night, so I'm uh, I'm not overly motivated to want to uh, jump out of here uh, if I'm just going to get hung up for a few days in bad weather, someplace where I have to lay out a lot of money. So, let me kind of show you a little bit about what I'm talking about. Let's jump onto Google Earth. Here we are looking at Cleveland. Let me back out a little bit. Okay, well, I'll go a little bit more. Here's the overall scoop of the plan, okay? I'm here in Sandusky. I can come out of here in Sandusky and go to Cleveland. I can come out of Cleveland and I can go to Ashtabula, which is about here. I can come out of Ashtabula and I can go to Erie, Erie to Dunkirk, Dunkirk to Buffalo. So Buffalo, Dunkirk, Erie, Ashtabula, Cleveland, and Sandusky where I'm at. So I've got one two, three, four, five days to get across Lake Erie. So when I get to places like Cleveland, and, and Cleveland is, is a problem, trying to get a place where I can anchor is difficult. Now, I thought about trying to come in like, you know, just inside the break wall here and anchoring, but this is, belongs to the Yacht Club and the Marina. They may frown on that. I thought about, you know, ducking inside the wall here and just anchoring in this area. I understand I can do that. I don't know how bad the weather conditions are going to be in there or what have you. Um, I could go to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, which is right here, and I could spend the night at the, in their dock. Again, $60 a night to dock off here at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. It would have been nice to go see the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, but $60 to dock there and another $26 for a ticket to go in makes visiting the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame a little cost prohibitive for me right now. So that's probably not going to be a good option for me. And then the second day, if I just if I just get going, if I jump from from Sandusky to Cleveland and then Cleveland go up here to Ashtabula, Ashtabula is another spot where um, there is a spot I think I can get into an anchor with relative security. Okay, you see here they have they have these walls built to to block the waves and stuff. So I think I can use those walls. Then it looks like there's another wall here. This is sort of industrial, but I think I can come around and then get inside this wall and anchor like right here someplace amongst all this industrial work that's going on. 
long as I'm not blocking their big ships getting in and out. I'm only going to be there one night, hopefully. So I think I can hit their Ashtabula on the second night. Now, if I need to find a better spot to anchor in Ashtabula, I can run up the river here, and there's some marinas. I can run up here to, the, to the, this river. I can get up into here. There's a little campground here, which would be really nice. There's a grocery store right here. It'd be easy to provision. So that might be a, uh, an idea is to come up into there. Um, this marina here has some availability. Again, it's $68 a night to stay there. Um, I'm waiting to hear back from this campground about staying here. Ideally, if I could stay here someplace, like tie up to this wall, I mean, there's a grocery store. So I could just walk right over and get my provisioning stuff done there. That would be great. I just don't want to spend $68 a night and then get hung up there in a bad weather window before I can make the jumps from there on out. Because the next stop from there is going to be Erie, which is here, which has some good protection. And then past Erie is Dunkirk, which is here, and then Dunkirk on the Buffalo. So and let me explain to you what I'm looking at weather-wise. This is Vent you Sky, one of the programs that I use for looking at the wind forecasting and stuff. Now, this right now, we are set now to Monday's page. And as you can see, I have little to no wind anywhere on the lake at this end. So I could literally, I, I won't even be able to sail. I'm going to have to motor from Sandusky to Cleveland, which is fine. I'd like to give the motor a good shot, good run, let it get itself cleaned out, get all the carbon out of it, get it good and going. So, in fact, I may run from here to Cleveland and then do my oil change in Cleveland. I might. And then the next day... Let's see, as this, as this progresses, you can see, you know, here it is at 5 o'clock at night. By 5 o'clock at night, I should be in Cleveland, and still we're only dealing with 6, 7 mile an hour winds. Because I want to get a real early start, leave here about 2, be there by 5. So the next day on Tuesday at 5 a.m., we've got wind and rain coming offshore. So this is nice because I'm really protected along the shore here. Again, 6, 7 mile an hour winds. I can put the sails up. And I could sail all the way to Ashtabula, which is going to be here, right in this area. And so if I get to Ashtabula around 5 p.m., as you can see, the weather is really good, really nice. In fact, I almost wish I had somebody to, to, to else on crew for this night. Because if we did, we could go all night sail and get all the way over here to Erie and skip Ashtabula completely. But... So that's, that's good weather. But then after that, as I run into the 16th, we've got big winds coming. And if I shift over here as precipitation, you'll see that we're running into storm clouds and rain and all kinds of stuff. And in fact, that's going to persist for looks like a couple of days. Let's just go to, this is roughly 11 a.m. You see the wind has now changed. It's coming right on the head from the direction we're going. Don't want to be out sailing in that stuff. There's your wind speeds. You know, 19, 20 mile an hour winds on the head. That's not going to be conducive to making headway. Here's Friday. It's even worse. And Saturday, the winds have reversed and going the other direction. But again, 17, 18 mile an hour winds. That's just too rough for, for shallow Lake Erie. And as you can see by the color of the map, we're going to be hitting some precipitation and stuff. So so the reality of it is, is that I'm going to have to get someplace and hole up for three or four days. And I want to hole up someplace where I'm not spending 68 bucks a day to do that because that's just cost prohibitive. It's just very expensive, especially since I'm just going to be hunkered down in the boat waiting for the rain to go by. Um, and most of those spots do not have really good spots to anchor. Otherwise, I would anchor. If they, if they had better spots for anchoring, I would anchor, but they, they really don't. And so uh, so that's a problem. But So this is my dilemma. You know, if I, if I had an extra couple hundred bucks in the bank, I'd say, oh, well, if I get stuck, I get stuck. You know, I'll pay the marina and have a nice place to stay. But I don't have that. So I'm trying to figure out my weather window. I don't know if maybe I'm... I'm better off hanging out here and waiting. Um, I'm only spending $5 a day at this marina. So, you know, hang out here. But what, what happens if during the rest of this month I don't have a weather window? Because uh, ideally, I really need like a five-day weather window to do this nicely, to do this real easy. So 
I don't know. It's a bit of a dilemma. I hope you guys can see that. I'm trying to figure out with the weather that's coming uh, and the marinas that are available. I mean, there's nice places to stay all along the way. I just don't have the budget for that. So uh, There are some places I can anchor in some of these places. I've, I've been researching some of them. Some are good. Some are not so good. Um, but we can do that. We just got to see how that plans. So anyhow, I thought you guys might enjoy kind of seeing what I'm going through, some of the steps that I have to take as I'm trying to figure out my jumps and my weather routing and my planning for crossing Lake Erie. Uh, if things go well, I may be out of here as early as Monday. Um, if things don't go well, then I'm just going to sit tight and hang out here in Sandusky uh, until I have a, a suitable weather window. So if I don't go Monday, Tuesday, if I don't go Monday, Tuesday, then I'm definitely going to be here for the rest of the week because of the weather pattern that's coming in behind that. Um, if I do go Monday or Tuesday, then I'm probably going to get holed up in Sandusky and have to stay there. Now, I'm hoping this campground that I called, and I'm waiting to hear back from them, I'm hoping their rates are a whole lot cheaper. Uh, for one thing, they would be a lot more convenient to the grocery store there. And two, $68 a night just seems pretty high to stay at a, at a, a marina, especially one that doesn't have Wi-Fi. Um, for, for $60 a night, I can stay at the rock, the dock there in Cleveland, uh, for 60 bucks a night and have free Wi-Fi. So, uh, it is a ponderance. This is some of the things we have to think about when we're, when we're traveling, when you travel by sail, but weather dictates everything. So anyhow, kids, we'll have more for you later. Be good, be careful, and we will see you when we see you. Bye.